Here we're being asked to calculate the empirical formula of an explosive, and they've given us a mixture of masses in grams and percentages, and they haven't actually even, even given us all the information. So this is going to take a while to do it the normal way. However, what you could look at here is you could look at the carbon to hydrogen ratio, because they have both been given as percentages, and in every single one of our options, the carbon to hydrogen ratio is different. So if you take your 33.8 for the carbon, divide it by its relative atomic mass, which is 12, you get 2.81. If you take the hydrogen, 1.41, and divide it by 1, you of course stay at 1.41. So the carbon to hydrogen ratio is 2 to 1. And that means there's two carbons and to every one hydrogen, which means that C has to be the correct answer. And we didn't even need to calculate the other elements, but you would get to C in the same way as I'm showing here.